To understand how heat treating improves the properties of metal parts and products, it is necessary to observe metal at microscopic levels. Metals are composed of distinct overlapping grains of varying sizes. The line or plane of intersection is referred to as the grain boundary. When metals solidify from a molten state, the grains or crystals emerge from the liquid and fuse together in specific patterns to form the grain structure, also referred to as crystal structure or microstructure. Product manufacturing typically strives for a smaller, finer grain size for metal parts. This provides greater strength levels for the metal, compared to coarser grains. Grain refinement is the process of utilizing heat treatment in order to produce a smaller, more uniform, and therefore stronger grain structure. Another prominent reason for heat treating is to homogenize the microstructure of metal parts. Commercial alloys are comprised of many different metals that are only attracted to themselves and not to other metals. Take a steel alloy as an example. The microscopic pieces of nickel will be attracted to other nickel, the manganese to other manganese, the molybdenum with other molybdenum, and so on. This segregation will create weak grain boundaries and decrease the part strength. Heat treating causes similar metals that were fused together to relax and diffuse more uniformly into the alloy. Thus, the microstructure is homogenized. Relieving stresses in metal parts is another prominent reason for heat treating. Stresses may be a result of operations such as casting, forging, stamping, and machining. Take this simple metal rod. If the rod was bent during a forming operation, the metal grains on the outside of the curve are stretched, while those on the inside are compressed. The part is stressed in these areas, making it more brittle and likely to fail under load. Heat treating will relax the stressed grains, causing the metal to be both stronger and more ductile.